Motorola is about to sell the Aura in Italy. This is the retail model. You are on cellularemagazine.it. I'm Emilio Vignapiano. Here is in his leather cover. To take it out, there is a string in the back that pulls the phone out. First thing you notice the screen, it's uh, an OLED with uh, 65 millions of color. Amazing, thanks also to the OLED technology and Zafire lens. As you can see, all is full of pixel. It's really full of pixel. It's very bright and in all condition you can have the vision of what is brought on the phone. The menu are perfectly optimized with this phone, they are circular as you can see. The screen is 1.55 inch and it's not too small because it's circular so you have a different type of user interface. As you see when you go through the inside menus everything is text, very simple very easy to manage. Let's see if something like the file manager. Here comes little icons on the left. As you see they, they are very similar to the um, V9, V8 phones. In fact they use the same software based on Linux language. So everything is stable and optimized. The Lens is a Zafire lens, the one that you find in luxury phone like Rolex and Tagoya. We have tried to scratch, we have tried to damage it in different ways, but trust there is no way, it's pretty amazing. Also because there is also one in the back to cover the camera and the mechanism of closing and opening. Swiss technology as Motorola says. The phone is, uh, thanks to the material, that all materials are uh, made of metal. It's a bit heavy, 101 gram. So that gives you the sensation of solidity. And also, it's, the phone is not so big. In fact, it is 0.8 per 47.6 per 18.5 millimeters so also in small hands can be hold easily and really the using of these materials gives you the impression on a very very high quality phone also the keypad is made of metal and every key has lines on it so you can really don't sweep your finger. There is gum also on five key, okay, and back key. So also blind people can use it very, very easily. The numbers of the keypad are big and enough. There is enough space between one each other to digit SMS, MMS not long email to say the truth. In fact, this is not a multimedia phone or a business phone. This is just a jewelry phone. So you don't expect to wrote a three page email on a phone like that. The soft keys are big, but they are in a very high position. Also the OK and back are not uh, so nice because they are small. And through the menu, to go through and to navigate through the menu with these two keys and the soft keys sometimes takes a little to get in the part of the software that you need. This is the only lack of this phone. The phone is a quadriband GSM with GPRS and H connection, so around the world you don't have any problem. You don't have any UMTS or Wi-Fi. You have Bluetooth 2.0, so no problems with stereo audio headphone. All the parts of the phone are uh, metal. The, they are very good assembly. As you can see, you cannot find any place that is not very cured. Also, the cover battery is made of metal. Only this part is made of plastic because in that part there are radio antennas. So these parts really need to be plastic to have a good signal. 
The audio is very, very good thanks to the Crystal Talk software, so that filter um, inside voice and outside voice, so no one of our friends had any problem in uh, hearing our voice. The design, as you see, it's very minimal and clean. Every part is cured. The, the line that you have here, you find also here, and also in the front, in the menus. The camera on the back is a 2 megapixel camera, no LED flash, unfortunately. Uh, that means that when you are in not very light place, when you are inside in darkness place, you don't have good quality photos. You can also make video with that cam, so no problem for little films. The battery really, really excellent. Last weekend we have made something like more than four hours of conversation without recharging the phone for the entire weekend. In fact, Motorola says that in standby you have 400 hours and in conversation seven. We just made four to say the truth. And the battery was almost to last. We recharged it on Monday morning, so the entire weekend was made just with one charge, one completely charged. This phone is coming in Italy with a price of almost 1,500 euros, so jewelry price, and uh, you cannot find this phone on eBay uh, second hand because Motorola will uh, let you sign a contract when you buy the phone so if you want to sell this phone you have to sell back to Motorola but we don't know at which price and when and how so at the coming out of this phone that is expected for be out in uh, for middle of December in time for Christmas present we will see also how will come the contract on the left of the phone you find the balance of the volume and the only thing that you find, the only key that you find is that one. In fact, in the top of the phone you have micro USB to charge and to sync the phone and also to use the headphone if you don't have a Bluetooth one. There is one um, in the box. And that's all. For cellularemagazine.it, Emilio Vignapiano with the Aura.